realize Microtech finally did it. it. Finally broke me and it's a knife that I'm probably gonna have to buy. This is my new favorite Microtech. Sorry, Vorka Blade Stitch. This is the best Microtech I've seen. Let's turn this around and take a look at this thing from above. So there it is, guys. This is my new favorite Microtech. I do love the Stitch. I've said for a long time the Stitch was my favorite Microtech model that Borka Blades designed. This is the Amphibian with the Ramlock, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I have to tell you, this is not a new knife. This is not my knife. This came in from Will B, one of my paying members. He let me borrow this for a video. And I did already resharpen this. So it's been in pocket a little bit more than a day. It's been about a day and a half. And I've absolutely fallen in love with this thing. It is the best Microtech that I've had on the channel. Now, I've owned a lot of Microtechs. Uh, I've had the Whale Shark, the DOC. I've had several Microtechs. I had the Annex that was here on loan. I've had a bunch of Microtechs on the channel that were on loan. And this is the first one of them that has made me think I'm going to buy this. Uh, this thing is beautiful. It's done in the new M390 MK. So that is Microtech's formulation of M390 that they worked with Bowler, uh, Bowler Oodle Home to make. Uh, it is in their new Ramlock crossbar style lock. It's a access style lock, but I think it is leaps and bounds above what you get on a lot of other knives it's a very very robust look at the look at that lock on that uh, the lock bar is just massive uh, so you get the benefits of an access lock it has got some great thumb discs on it that are done mid blade they're not up on the spine up here when i say thumb disc when i say mid blade i mean they're further down on the actual flat of the blade than you would have if you had a thumb disc terzuola style so they're thumb plates uh, this thing is super, super smooth. It's listed as fluted aluminum handles, but that milling on it is just beautiful. This is one of the few knives that absolutely needs jumping on the spine. It just looks aggressive that way. It's a very aggressive looking knife. You've got this really nicely done, um, very thin behind the edge for a big knife with a uh, recurve blade that's done in a drop point recurve that definitely gives it that aggressive reptilian look. Uh, I see why they called it the amphibian. Another thing kind of out of character for Microtech, they went ahead and they did a very good job of giving you an ambidextrous pocket clip. So this is a fully ambidextrous knife because it is an access style lock uh, and a really nicely done pocket clip. Uh, the pocket clip has some jimping on it, so it's easy to pull out a pocket. You can use that as another little point, as this is not a little knife. I'll give you a couple knives for size comparison. I typically don't do that on first day, but I just want to show you. So uh, first knife that you're going to see for size comparison, the Spyderco PM2. So you can see that's a big knife. And then a second one for size comparison, a little bit better known knife. It's the Benchmade 940, probably the best known knife in the knife world. And you can see absolutely dwarfs the 940. This is not a small knife. Uh, let's get this out of the way. And we'll look at this on the mat. Now this is a recurve, but this is this is a nine inch uh, rule here on the mat. And you can see that it is off of the rule. It's probably coming in nine and a half, but it's got a serious curvature with it. So it's got, I mean, it is a bigger knife. Absolutely love it. In hand, it just feels incredible. This is the first knife in a long time that I'm seriously thinking about purchasing one because the, before they're no longer available, because these are going to sell out fast. This thing is done beautifully. It's got this black hard coat anno on the aluminum, which is hard coat anno that Microtech does is always stellar. It holds up really well. Now, Will uses his knives a lot and you can see it's got some little nicks and dings. It's because it's been beat into stuff and he didn't have to sharpen it because he had gotten a spot on here where the edge was rolled in a couple small chips. So this has already been sharpened. Now I am going to see how the edge holds up because I've heard some complaints that Microtech's running their steel a little soft, but I got to say that this thing just feels stellar in hand. The feel you get with these areas here that are just exactly the same on both sides. It's like a finger choil addition on that where you just get a little bit more secure. And then you've got some really decent jimping here. And then, like I said, the, the crossbar style lock that they use, this ram lock, is just a monster. You can see it's got just a straight pin. Instead of having springs in here, 
it is just a plunger spring, uh, a plunger and spring that's attached to this lock. And then you can see it doesn't matter if you are going from one side or the other, as opposed to the Omega springs that are in a lot of the Benchmade access locks or other knives with access locks, where you have to be conscious about pulling on both sides so you don't weaken a spring or break a spring on one side. It's only one spring. And so it doesn't matter because it's a straight plunger. And then the action on it is great. Um, definitely, definitely good purchase on those plates. It is a big knife. Um, and one of the problems I've had with the, the Ram lock, I'll talk about on the flip side of this, because this knife is not perfect, but it is beautifully done. And then the weight distribution on it, it is a little tip heavy, which I love. So you've got all this weight from the lock in this area and the blade itself is a big beefy blade. And then they've done weight reduction inside the handles to give it that really aggressive, more forward heavy feel that I like in a knife. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the cutting I've done with it, this recurve is just amazing. So I'm gushing over this knife. Like I said, there's a couple small things about it. Uh, and we're gonna talk about those flip side of the knife, flip side of the story. So just a couple small things so far. Uh, I talked about jimping back here. The jimping back here is really aggressive and it's really good jimping. And the jimping here is decent. It's a little bit softer, but then when you get up here, that jimping right there is just, it's, it's no, it's no bueno. It doesn't really do anything. It's just there for show. This is still functional. This, I would have preferred to have this jimping up here a little bit more aggressive. Uh, the next thing, when I try to flip it, if I get it where I want it in hand, I bump up against the lock. The, the knife will flip. You can thumb flip it, but when I do it, a lot of times what happens is I get in the way, I get my finger here. You can see my fingers on it and it prevents the lock from sliding out and it doesn't flip out. Not that big of an issue because, well, you can just do that. The next thing, there's a couple little sharp edges in here. This jimping here, I would have been fine with it not being there. It's a little bit aggressive. It's absolutely a little more aggressive here than it is up here. I would have preferred to have this jimping up here and then some softer jimping if you wanted to do it just for looks down here. Uh, the next thing, lanyard hole, I would have really preferred. They already did this. Why not do a, a spot for a lanyard here as opposed to putting a hole in what is a very, very attractive knife? It's not as bad on this knife as it is on some others, but it definitely is it does break up the lines of the knife pocket clip super comfortable in hand like i said but it is a little bit it's a little steep on that in thicker pants it's a little more difficult to get it in pocket out of pocket it's beautiful you got a longer transition but that's a little sharp spot there and this has got a good bit of tension on this pocket clip getting it in pocket sometimes it catches on thicker pants uh, and it'll push down a little bit so just something you might want to think about and then the final thing which is the only thing that really is kind of bad about the knife which is like a really like functional thing um th as much as i love this and it's beautiful i think this would have been better in my carta it really would have been my carta or g10 a better option because i don't know I, I don't know how i forgot how slick some of these knives can be because i've had i'm carrying so many knives that are my carta or g10 but if your hands are wet, this is kind of a slick platform. Now, they did a pretty good job with the milling to give you a little bit of tactility. But if you've got wet hands, which I tried it out to see, I was like, that feels like it might be slick. You got slick hands or if you've got something oily on your hand, that is a little slick. Um, so and especially after sharpening how thin this behind the edge is and razor sharp as it got, I don't want I don't want something slippery in my hand with that sharp. So that's only things i've got on this that are bad guys so let's turn this around do some final thoughts and i'll send you out about your day yeah guys i'm absolutely in love with this this is the perfect combination of so many things uh, on this knife even with this a couple of minor things the the grip is not horrible i just have to be conscious of the fact that if i have wet hands it's a little slippery slippery wow mike at any rate the ram lock on this is just about perfect. This is the perfect platform for that ram lock. This is a nice, big, beefy knife. It's got so many things going for it, and I absolutely love the way it looks. Plus, functionality, it cuts very, very well. So I'm not going to make this any longer. This will be here for a while. Uh, I'm going to have this here for a while. Now, there may be one of these in my 
future, I may actually purchase one of these. I, I know I don't purchase knives very often, but the fact that now I've got a little bit more financial stability, things like that, this may be part of my collection. So at any rate, guys, you know how to support the channel. You saw a sponsored ad, the sponsor links are down below. There's two of them have coupons built into them, the Coffee Brand Coffee Temper Trail. I have got a membership. You can join that, get in on it. I do giveaways, exclusive content, premium tier sharpening tutorial series. There's a ton of affiliate links down below where you can buy things and it supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and an Amazon store down below. Take that link, pin it to browser, use it for all the shopping you're going to do, and join my public Discord. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.